Best online jobs for admins. Don't miss this if you have administrative skills. Hello, freedom chasers, champions. My name is Kay and thank you once again for joining me today. If you want to find a way to work from home, if you want to find that awesome remote job that you can actually do from home so that you can either save on daycare costs or just have the time freedom throughout the day, um, not having to fight traffic, whatever your reason might be that you want an online job, you can have it. You can have it. So today I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about positions if you have administrative skills. This actual video is inspired by one of our subscribers named Jessica who is currently searching for an administrative job from home. She works uh, doing executive work right now. Uh, executive assistant work and she's looking for that online job. So I wanted to go out and kind of look for several positions that she could qualify for that hopefully fit into her um, salary range. And so let's just hop right in and well, no, I forget. Before we get started, I always do my motivation. Ha ha, you almost got me today and I almost started without doing it. But you can have the life you want. You can work from home if that's what you want. So today's motivational quote is, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Wishing is not enough, we must do. And I love this quote because if I'm gonna apply it to what we're talking about, I would say that you can't just wish for um, a remote position. You have to apply. You have to be consistent in your application and in your search. And if that's one thing that I've learned um, working from home since May of 2012, I can tell you that when I'm consistent, I apply every single day, I always find the next gig. And what I've also found is that one gig normally leads to the next one. And now I just have so many things going on. I've, I've made so many um, connections and networked so much that I don't even really look that hard anymore. They kind of just fall in my lap and you can get to that point too. Um, but until then, you definitely want to be consistent and apply and let people know who you are. You can have the work life you want. Let's look at these awesome companies that focused on hiring remote admin workers. So the first one is an executive assistant with accounting skills. If you have a, if you're an executive assistant and you have accounting skills, then this position at the VK Consultant Group might be for you. I actually started looking for these roles a few days ago. But everyone that I will share with you today, this one is an hourly contract and it's intermediate skill level. You have to do everything from editing memos to routing correspondence to the correct associates and it is a remote hourly job. So you can um, apply for this job. All Remember, all of the jobs that I'm going to list, you can find the link to the exact page that we're looking at now, as long as it's active. Um, it will be in the show notes below. And if it's not active anymore, it'll say, sorry, you know, we've already filled the position. But while it's active, you will see the exact page I'm looking at right now. So that's the first one. The next one is a company called I think it's Vase Professional Services, and they're also looking for an executive assistant. Uh, this is a remote position, and it's in Canada. But you have to have impeccable English, mastery level, um, MS Word, and Excel. You have to be a self-starter, high energy, with the capability of taking initiative. So this is an hourly contract, and they want an expert, so someone with a great deal of experience. Now let me tell you a hidden gem. When I was first getting started, I found several remote roles on, get this guys, Craigslist. Yes, Craigslist is still relevant. Craigslist is still 
Um, people still post on Craigslist most of the time because in most of the categories it's free or it's very cheap. So this particular, but I will say beware. Do not pay people. Um, do not send anyone money to do any of these jobs. These are a lot of times small business owners that are looking for someone and don't want to go and spend money posting on a big job board like Monster or Indeed. However, be cautious and make sure you do your due diligence before you start um, working with a company, okay? So this particular role, it's an executive assistant at a growing consulting firm. They're paying 65,000 a year, it's full time and you do it from home. This was one that I found and I was like, oh, Jessica is going to love this or anybody who can do admin work is gonna love this. It gives you instructions on how to apply and, um, and this is a great one. They want at least three to six years of executive assistant experience. You're gonna, report to the CEO. Um, so this is a really, really great position. Uh, the next one is a personal assistant. Uh, the company is actually in Illinois, but if you're working remote, guess what? You can work from anywhere. And so this company needs someone that's good with social media, that um, is creative and organized and they want you to submit your resume for more info. And with Craigslist jobs, what I normally do is I will not submit my address on that resume. What I normally do will just put my name and I'll put my email only, just in case. So that's what I do for that. The next one is a marketing slash administrative assistant for an independent publishing company. And this one you're going to do a little bit of everything you're going to do marketing you're going to do administrative work um, they would like somebody that has a degree and a minimum of two years as an executive assistant however if you had eight years as an executive assistant or six years in ex as an executive assistant you have more than enough experience and i would go ahead and apply if i were you they want you to have mastered excel and google drive and docs which is easy um, this is uh, 35 to 45 an hour and you would be a contractor. So this would be one of those where you worked for, you know, three to six months and then you would have to look for another gig because it would be over by then. And it, this one's 30 hours a week, but for 35 to 45 an hour, that's great gig. Okay. The next one is brand assistant and personal admin to CEO and founder. And this one's going to be part time. And based on experience, they want someone with two to three years of executive assistant experience and a social media guru. Now also make sure, because sometimes they do edit the listings, make sure that it is still telecommute and make sure that it's something where sometimes it'll be telecommute, but they say, we want you to live in a particular city, but it's still telecommute. So make sure that you meet all the qualifications and you read everything thoroughly before you apply. The next company, this one's going to be a part-time hourly as well, but it's an operations administrator. And you have to love administrative tasks. You have to be trustworthy, resourceful. Um, you have to be a computer savvy and located in the US time zone. If you have had any previous HR or administrative experience, that is amazing because you'll be helping with payroll, mail correspondence, um, credit card reconciliation, and that kind of thing. So if that's you, you'll definitely want to apply for this position, close.io. And here's another part-time. I found several part-time. Um, so if you're looking for full-time, I do apologize. Uh, however, keep on looking because I'm going to um, possibly share some other sites with you that you might not have ever heard of that you will love that will help you do find your own positions. Um, this is a lot of administrative um, duties as well, and you're going to support um, a regional vice president, and it's part time. So if that looks like something that you would want to do and work from home, 
then apply for this one. Now this one, this last one is like a little bonus because it's a remote dream position for a remote contractor that wants to make a difference at smart wires. So I want you to read this one uh, and see if it's something that might be a good fit for you. This isn't like your normal position, but it's one that looked really appealing. They want um, virtual project coordinators that are 30 to 40 hours a week. You're managing many of the team's most important tasks. You have superior communication skills and you're a strong team player. You are, you can do online research. You can use Microsoft Office and PowerPoint and Outlook. And then this is a pretty unique um, application process, but I thought this was a pretty cool position. So I wanted to share. Um, Smart Wires is the name of the company. Now, if I know I have just found several positions for you, but if you want to find your own positions, what I want you to do is you will go to um, jobkit.co slash remote. Let me see if I can put it. There it is. Jobkit.co slash remote. And what this does is it's going to give you a list of companies that focus on telecommuting, working remotely, and working from home. And it's a lot of different job aggregators. So these job boards, different job boards are on here. And what you do is search each one of these job boards daily looking for your next remote position. That's what you would do. So now that we have gone through that, let me move up my little screen here. What I want you to do if you like this video or if you want to see more videos like this, I would like you to hit that thumbs up button. Please do subscribe. And when you subscribe, comment below, I subscribed. Also, let me know what type of job you are looking for and let me make a video for you. You can also hit that notification bell so that you never miss an important video on how to find that remote job that you're looking for. A special thank you to Jessica for giving me the inspiration for this video and for subscribing to this channel. So if you need help and you're looking for a remote role, I encourage you to subscribe, comment below, and hit that like button. I look forward to helping each and every one of you find the remote role that you deserve. Have an amazing day, and I will see you next time. This is Kay signing off. Bye-bye for now.